Well, hello again all. This morning we've been working on this Two Rock Studio Pro 35 that a customer brought in a couple days ago. His complaint was on single notes. Uh, it had an octave effect, or Octavia effect as he mentioned. Uh, what that usually leads to is a parasitic or a ghost note. He had been advised that it was probably a tube problem, but I kind of differed with that opinion, so looking into the amplifier, this is what we found. We have a 47 microfarad 500 volt F and T capacitor here as your main filter. And over here we have for a screen supply and the lower filters some Illinois capacitors. So what I found out was the two capacitors on the left here had failed. Of course these are the replacements. So when we get over here and check these out, here's the original caps. I'm going to show you something that's not original. This is actually one of my test caps. One of these, this is very hard to do one-handed, one of these working correctly reads about that. It's a 22 microfarad capacitor. Okay. So let's check out these other two little guys here that I pulled out. There was our screen supply capacitor. It's supposed to be 22. There's not even one. Here's the second one. Same situation. Okay. Now, here's something else. This amplifier was built on June 5th of 2012, which is roughly six years ago. Since this is the end of July. <laughs> so, anyway, so I replaced these four capacitors. Why four? Well, the reason that I did it was the two on the left had failed. So the other two are the same age and have been subjected to the same conditions from heat and so on in this amplifier. And if you look close, I have dated the capacitor. So I will know when it comes back in for service at some point how old these caps are and when they were changed. I'm kind of curious. Capacitors usually have a useful life of about 10 years to 15 depending on the cap. I've been keeping all these Illinois in stock because I'm getting a lot of Fender Levilles and so on in here. Uh, it seems like end of life period for the caps and all of them. I've had five of the Fender Blue Series amps come in here probably in the last month and a half that all had capacitor issues all at once. So I think again we're doing that end of life cycle for them. So we're all taken care of here. We've got this amp up and running. All these ghost notes are gone. Just wanted to mention a couple of things there about the capacitors. So until next time, play nice. I'll see you later. <laughs>